We have just successfully wrapped up our first season. Now, we're preparing something new. And this one is about you. We're going to be talking about life, spirituality, love, romantic connections, and anything under the sun. Now, are you ready for your life to change? Join me there. Hi guys, so let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your... We're back to the dailies, okay? So this is going to be your dailies. We've uploaded everything. Um, all the November stuff, so check it out. Weeklies, dailies, well, this is the dailies. Monthlies, bi-weeklies, um, hourly, minute also. Minute by minute, okay? So are you um, blow by blow, basically? Okay, we're here live with the aqua. So also make sure you are live, okay? Meaning you're alive to the meetup, okay? So you have, you, uh, an aqua has to be there, okay? So do one thing for the group, okay? So if you're in Los Angeles, make sure you are. I'm already gonna be attending the meetup, okay? And I'll see you there. The link for the ticket is in the description. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Now, we're gonna start first with your reading here. It's gonna be for the aqua. Okay, so let's see how we doing. Let's see what's going on with my aqua. Mm -hmm. Also, um, watch the, um, the new series that we have. When it's you, it hits you, okay? It's more situation based, so you watch based on the title, not by the um, by zodiac. So you you walk, uh, you know, it's like you walk in with no zodiac, okay? You just bring in the situation, okay? So let's see here now. Aqua, what's up with the aqua? Let's right here. Let's see what's up with the aqua. Big wheels. This is what they're saying. Big wheels. I like it. Look at that one. I still have to say it. You got Ace of Pentacles first. And I see this one. Hierophant. Big wheels. <laughs> and Ace of Coins is big wheels. Look at that. It's around and around we go. Okay. It's a coin. Let's discuss this opportunity that you have. A new contract that you're signing, a new deal with a Hierophant. A little bit a little bit interesting because Mercury, right? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with Mercury going retrograde. It's just our action. So <laughs> our action is the one that we need to check and verify. Um, someone can be proposing right now. I wonder who gets engaged during Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I'm kidding. We cannot blame the planet. Okay? Because imagine being born also at this time. <laughs> so Ace of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Someone wants to have something big with you. Okay. Okay. Someone who wants to be serious can be a Taurus right there. Mm -hmm. This is an offer of marriage partnership. It can also be like you, you, you're an entrepreneur and someone wants to um, be business partners with you. Okay. Ace of coins um, can be a new person that you just met at the same time. Very strict with their standard. So they, they you know, because so, this person can be concerned about society, how society looks at them. They have to be respectable. Like, you know, it's like they, they care about their last name. They care about, you know, it's like how they look for other people, you know. But they want to look presentable. They want to look decent. They don't want basically to attract attention. Unsolicited attention, this person is not. Very, very conservative with the Hierophant. Ace of Coins, they are very traditional with regards to dating. 
we go out, we get to know each other first date. Second date, we go out, and same thing. 51st date, we go out, and still the same thing. Oh, because it's a Taurus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, there's the progress start there. Mm -hmm. Hit a spot, Taurus. Are you cross-watching? Did I hit the spot? <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit the spot? <laughs> or you have a tourist placement? Okay. Yeah. 1800 and you're, you're 2019. Still the same? Okay, that's why there's the level up with the Hierophant. Yeah. Next level, basically. Eight of Wands. Okay. Taurus wants to prove something to you. We're going to move it fast. This person is a. Must be Mars and Scorpio, that's why. <laughs> well, it's not even gonna be there until, <laughs> what, around December ish. Mars is still in Virgo. Uh, so expect this energy to come a little bit slow, okay? I feel like later part of the year, most likely, when a oh, majority of this energy will come towards you with the Eight of Wands. Not right now. It's a proposal and it moves, okay? I feel like that's where they, they will move if it's a Taurus, okay? Taurus won't make a move until they're very, very certain. They're like a Scorpio, basically, because that's their seventh house. They assess the situation. They're very schemy, too. Do you know that? Just some. Oh, hush if you're a Taurus cross watching. Ten of Pentacles, see? Because why would you react if you were not triggered? Just saying. Eight of Wands with a Ten of Pentacles. So, um, someone here, look at that. Next level with a Ten of Pentacles. Someone really, really wants this uh, partnership with you. Um, quite handsome and very good looking too, Aqua. Well, you have a taste. It's called the Seventh House also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very judgy with their looks, are we? You have to be presentable, right? For the family, you know. Come on, don't be like that. You need to be... Mm -hmm. You're not controlling Aqua. You're just a fixed sign. Mm -hmm. Just a fixed sign. You just want something that the society will appreciate. You have to do something for other people. What are you doing? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. You know, it's like... You have to be a certain individual. Okay, <laughs> magician over here. Who can contribute. To the greater many, okay? Because our constituents, these constituents, higher friend with the Ten of Pentacles, our followers, people look up to us. What are you talking about? <laughs> Is that an aqua thing? <laughs> we need to set a good example, okay? We need to do things the right way. Is that a Taurus thing or is that Saturn? <laughs> Magician with the Ace of Pentacles, you've manifested this connection and if it's a Virgo, Gemini, they follow you. I feel like Aqua and Virgo would go well for some reason. I'm just feeling it for this reading. Okay. Magician with the Ace of Coins. This person or you know what to do. You've, you, you know what to do. Oh, you know what to do. It's just like, all right, this is what we're going to do now. They're agreeing. Okay. They're agreeing. They're agreeing to your standard. High Priestess, of course, because both of you are practitioners. Okay. Hierophant with the High Priestess can be both are spiritual but on a different level. Okay. Um, both have certain beliefs but on a different plane. Okay. You understand me? There's something about your beliefs that both of you align. Okay. And you guys don't discuss that. Because the Hierophant is not, you know, Hierophant will talk about it. But the Magician, I feel like both of you are just agreeing on how this can move. It's like the silent, you know, the silent yes. Okay, like you got me, you know, so it's like you look into this person's eyes and they look at you and say, you know, okay, so that kind, very, very civil, okay, very, very polite, <laughs> who is this person, someone that you want to bring home to the family already here, mm -hmm. an aqua will never bring someone at home until they have proven that they're they're a bunch of royal asses, basically, I'm saying, you have to be someone in society, <laughs> Page of Swords, there's communication. Ten of Swords, okay. So this person will try to give it to you no matter what happened with the Ten of Swords. They'll sacrifice themselves. I feel like they will sacrifice everything just so that they can be with you. Yeah, even themselves, okay. Because I feel like this, you know, it's like your standard is here. They know that this is the truth. And they will talk about, it's like, I feel like they're, the Ten of Swords here, it's not that you're going to be betrayed. 
I feel like they, they will not tell you, but they're already in their sacrifice mode. Okay. Like they're they're submitting. I feel like the 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 ten of swords is submitting. Weird. And you're halfway there. Ace to the ten. Seven of Swords. Strength card. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. And the Five of Cups. Okay, it gets a little tricky. Okay. With the Magician and Seven of Swords over here, you know how this person is going to give to you um, what you want? They will not tell you about everything that they had to do just to give it to you. Okay, because the, the demand is strong with the Hierophant. You're not going to submit. There's a structure. We just have to follow this. So for this person, it was left no choice. Okay, because a strength card, they know that you're not going to, you know, back down here. And this is the deceit that they're going to do to you. Seven Swords, watch. Okay, they sacrifice their own happiness. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords to the Five Cups. Because there's something here that they're looking at. I feel like they would... They would sacrifice... Really? Sacrifice themselves for you? That's very weird. But they're not tell you. Not tell you. I'm not sure what they're letting go with the Ten of Swords. Because they're going to drop them like a hot potato there with the Five of Cups. Because whoever gets dropped with the Five of Cups over here. But this is them also. They're saddened about... They're sad to let go of something important to them. Just so that they can be stable with you. It's a big sacrifice that this person... I'm not sure why they're not telling you. I'm not sure why. Just to give this to you. It's almost like... Let's just say. Okay? Like if you're a mom and you have kids, right? Let's just say this. Uh, like you will do everything for your kid. And your kid does not need to know. You don't need to know as long as there's food on the table. We got a home. We got a shelter. Okay? But sometimes mom does wear the red lipstick at night. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like there is something that this person will die just to give this to you because of your standards. Okay? You understand me? Alright. So I'm going to continue this reading as you found a sacrificial lamb. Aqua. <laughs> Let's see here. Link down there in the description box for the extended, and we'll find out more. What is this Seven of Swords that's bugging you? Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and everything is down there. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Nine of Wands, they pursue you. Six of Cups, they love you. Six of Pentacles, they will gradually give this to you. What you want from them, they'll give it to you. There's an Aqua here who tells this person, it's just like, you know what, it's not enough. <laughs> 